Our scripture reading this morning comes from the epistles of the Corinthians. The first being 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 5b. Here Paul is writing to the church in Corinth, telling them that the churches in Macedonia, although very poor themselves, were giving generously to help support the church in Corinth. This is what Paul writes. They gave themselves first to the Lord, and then to us in keeping with God's will. Then from 2 Corinthians 11, verses 23 through 26. For I received from the Lord what I also passed on to you. The Lord Jesus, on the night he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. For whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he Thank you, Karen, for sharing your scripture with us today. Today we're going to be having our message from a video that is put together by the Board of Global Ministry. It is about world communion. It's about the meaning of communion to many people, why they take it, what they feel when they take it. So let us sit back and listen to these words. <laughs> 